I'm Robbie with Real Release. We're headed out today to get on some uh, cobia and huge red drum. There's been massive schools moving up and down the coast right now. They're moved into the bay yesterday. We found them really good. It was nonstop action, and it's got great weather conditions today. Sunny skies, should be flat calm. Might be able to get some wakers today. And hopefully if it was anything like yesterday, it's gonna be a great day. So we got it with Kyle from Shimano, and we got Stefan from Salty Grew. They came up to come fish with us today and hopefully we're going to try to catch them on some top waters and some crazy little freshwater baits. I know we got some swim baits and all sorts of stuff to try. So hopefully we can get some good footage for you guys. Yeah, yeah I was super stoked. Nathan called me yesterday and he said that the fishing was just phenomenal yesterday. So I definitely had dropped all my plans, came rushing up here today. So hopefully we're in for an amazing day with some crazy heats to show you guys today. on the freshy twin power. Oh, well, let's see if I can get her to come up a little bit. Nice fit. <laughs> that was awesome. That's actually a really <laughs> nice one. Cool eat. Great work on the net. It's a good fish. Yeah. yeah that's better than I thought it was. That's a nice one. So we're out here, there's tons of wakers. Not many clouds. You can't hardly see the fish. This one was still 50 yards off the bow and we couldn't really tell quite how big she was. But she chased the popper. Happy to have her. Yeah, pretty worth it. Good day. start to the cobia season. That's my first fish. Pretty fish. You got it? Yep. All right. Big here. <laughs> that was a good call by Jordan. We're sitting up there. I'm looking at the map trying to figure out where to go. He just got a call about some fish. And Jordan's like, is that a fish? Gobbled up the bucktail. I mean, that was perfect that timing. So nice. We've looked for like three miles, haven't seen a fish, and then Jordan just crawls up. He's like, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it inhaled that freaking jig, dude. It's down the hatch. Now 
Another good quality fish though. Yeah, that's a G Loomis with the Saragossa. Gear. There we go, right here. Jig's gone. Oh, yeah, here you go. Got him. Hell yeah, it's a pretty one. We had a little dilemma this morning. We just started looking again and we were about to make a move. We just got a phone call about some other fish being caught. So we started moving up there and that's when Jordan climbed up. He's like, is that grass or is that a fish? And we all looked and we're like, oh my God, he's right there. We're all looking at the screen, trying to figure out where to go. And then we get this nice fish, a little over 50 inches. It's a real pretty one. Hopefully get on some more, get the day started. You got the big one out of the pair. Yeah, because that's the big one. The one. Ne yeah, well, the other one should still be with it. nice one. Guy yeah, made a kind of a Hail Mary cast behind the popper and she smoked it. Came in pretty green as you saw. That's a pretty fish. I think it's so full of eggs. See him? Yeah, you can throw. There you go. Close. Big. Go, go, go! Ladies and gentlemen! These fish are stacked up along the bridge in the current. Um, action picked up a lot. We're constantly seeing fish, so not a crazy one, but super cool. Nice little two pack. Pounced on the jig. Give a fun fight. Pretty little fish. Have a nice food. Oh my god, they suck at eating. He missed it. 
There he is. You back up. I got him again. We'll get him. He missed it. He didn't even eat it. Oh my god, hey, hey! Nathan, hold on. Yeah. They're right off the bow to the right. Oh my god. Throw, 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 throw. Oh, he's gonna eat. He's gonna eat. Jig. There you go. Mm. Mm. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> Super chaotic action right now. Nathan took that right now. Robbie was just throwing on a fish. I got this. Got another little bit smaller one, but he cannot beat this action. This one was on the ice area. This one through, but. We had a five pack, a single, and a double popped up next to it. We're trying to hit those. All right, so this is a fish I just got on that Yozeri twitch bait. Didn't eat a bucktail. And uh, I think it was like three times that it finally missed it. Th missed it once, missed it again, missed it again. And he finally piled on it and just smoked it. I mean, these fish are moving in right now. They're hungry as could be. And, I mean, there's great numbers. I mean, we've seen tons of fish right now the last couple minutes. It's just game on. They're throwing out another one right now. Look at them right there. Some triple pack. But hopefully we'll get on some more for you guys. Oh, ah, got it Whose lines are you in? Oh, God. Look, they're right here off the bow, off the bow. Got him. I got you. Look at those two right here. Look, look at them. Look at those. A couple more nice fish here. Just pulled in on the fourth island and we found them pretty good. Hopefully we can get a few more. <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys said, do you guys want to go to a different spot? There's no fish here. It's okay. I pointed that thing out. Wait. Another real pretty fish. It's been great fishing. We've been crushing it today. We have not had a single live bait. No need for it. These fish are piling on these jigs like crazy. I mean, the jig's just gone. He inhaled that thing, dude. Beautiful colors on this fish. I'm trying to take it easy on it so it comes right in. All right. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. God, look at that rod. Definitely putting these Saragosas and G. Loomis's to the test today. Nathan, he's right here. And he's gone. Gone, 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 gone. It's like, I don't want to catch anymore, but I don't want to not throw at him. <laughs> too good not to. Y'all better get up here, get on these things. Yeah, if you guys like to come fish and get on these, Got a couple of open dates in August and July right now. Look at that fish right here. Look at him. Good God, dude. It's a fat fish. It's a it's fat one. Oh my God. 
I mean, this drag's locked too, dude. Really, really like to use, you know, jigs and artificial before the, you know, before you can kill them. It's kind of pointless to come out here with eels every day and you throw them and they get gut hooked and you, you let them go and you come back out here and wonders why the fish don't eat. <laughs> Got a jig or a freaking J hook in their gut. We like to use the jigs because we always get it out. We usually hook right in the mouth. Trying to make this fishery as best as we can. Keep it alive. Then throw in the Yozeris today. They've done really well. The meat hog jigs. And we're using 50 pound uh, flora right now, Seaguar inshore. Here he comes. It's been, been phenomenal. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a really nice fish, dude. I know. <laughs> On any other day, we'd be losing our minds right now. It's a pretty fish, dude. Oh my goodness. God, it's a fat one, dude. <laughs> Beautiful fish right now. Awesome. I've been non-stop fishing, non-stop action. Giant fish. Every all they've all been beautiful nice healthy fish so thankful to have this great fishery here in chesapeake bay if you guys want to you know get on some fish like this definitely give me a call check us out realreallysportfishing.com check us out on facebook and uh, instagram post some open days that we got them right now it's got a couple in july and august but if you guys want to get on these things i mean they're here this is the time to do it all the stuff we're using right now, we got the G. Loomisus, we got the Saragosas and Terramars. You can kick, pick all that stuff up at Ocean's East. We're throwing the uh, Meat Hog and Boat Up Bucktails right now, and they've been crushing it today. And the Yozeris. We did, did the throw Yozeris, and they did great. All that stuff you can get at Ocean's East. Come check us out, and we'll get you rigged up. So, right now, all these fish are moving up and down the coastline, coming into the bay, you know, going the rivers spawn and they'll start heading out you know in August and September we catch them all the way through October sometimes depending on the water temp. Fish make this track every year it's unbelievable. Pack it up and head in and came around this corner and saw a ton of drums so he's in here and me and Nathan both hooked up. non-stop action i mean there's tons of cobia and then at the end of the day it was red drum schools all over the place it was it probably picture perfect i mean there were massive cobias it was all just quality fish that we were catching for the most part a couple small fish but couldn't complain about any of it today got to test out some new gear today twin powers some grapplers terezes we got to throw some new lures to us some uh some twitch baits 
poppers. Um, got a little bit windy there at the end of the day, made finding those drum tough, but uh, we ended up finding them down there in the bottom of the ninth. Um, you know, we started off the day with uh, just kind of singles of cobia. As soon as we got to the base out of the bridge, started seeing packs. You know, really great early season fishing though. Yeah, it was definitely awesome. Doing most of my fishing in the Outer Banks, this is definitely a super different kind of fishing for me, but it's super cool. It's action packed. Um, seeing them wake in with the glassy conditions was crazy. Um, and then we got on those schools a big red drum at the end, which was just amazing seeing this huge wads of them, being seen a big, you know, spots of gold. So it was crazy experience for me and the day I don't forget. Yeah, it was definitely fun getting these guys on this. I mean, it was, we were all having a blast out there. It was just nonstop action and seeing these guys hook up and try to see if we could get to the fish first. It was, it was awesome. A little pandemonium too. <laughs> on a, I was making casts, find three people. Yeah. Yeah. And I can tell you what, I mean, without the glasses, like Kyle's got them too. I mean, these things were making a huge difference for us out there. I mean, you're seeing some push three, four, five hundred legs away. Yeah. It was unbelievable. A, I mean, night and day difference between the green mirrors too for the coasters. I mean, it, huge difference yeah. yeah i was super stoked that everybody got exactly what they wanted today exactly what we set out for we all got on quality quality fish big cobias big reds and you Mikey said, catch a couple fish which is like yeah and for you you're different, different for me on, normally i'm just the net man so i'm happy to hook a few and actually crank on a few it was a good change of pace I'm just happy with the quality that we had. I mean, it's just oh, yeah. quality I mean, it was non-stop. Had quality and quantity, but yeah. you know, really great first trip of the year and looking forward to the rest of the summer. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be insane. The rest of the summer is going to be crazy. Yeah. The, the amount of fish that we saw today and the quality of the fish, I mean, I can't imagine. Like, we're going to get a second push. They're still in Nag's head right now. Yeah. The second push of fish that we're going to get, I mean, it's going to be game on for the rest of the summer. It's going to be insane. If you guys would like to get out there and some of these fish while they're around this summer, check us out at realreleasesportfishing.com. We'd love to get you guys out there. We've got some open dates in July and August, and the fish is just going to get better. If you guys want to go check out any of the products that we were using today on the boat, go down to Ocean's East. we got, what, four locations now on Virginia Beach, Eastern Shore, Nags Head, and the Oregon Inlet Fishing Center. We've got tons of saltwater, freshwater, inshore, offshore, whatever you need. Cover your bases. They'll get you hooked up.